obviously there is there are asymmetries in nature like there's more matter than antimatter which yes. is probably the most obvious asymmetry that still sort of defies explanation as to why this should be so so there's certainly examples of of asymmetries but is there any evidence when we look at the cmb or the large scale structure of the universe do we see any hint of that there could be a preferred direction or preferred uh, local region in which we live um yes so there is um, there is something known as the, the cosmic dipole problem, right? Or co cosmic dipole tension, I should say. And, and so, you know, back at the end of the 60s and into the 1970s, this is when we really started to get to grips with the cosmic microwave background radiation, leftover radiation from the Big Bang. And we can see these beautiful maps of the cosmic microwave background radiation, and they tell us that the cosmic microwave background radiation is smooth to one part in 10,000. And that that one part in 10,000, those are the seeds of the galaxies that grew out of the early universe. So that's, that's all well and good. What's less mentioned is that there is a bigger variation in the cosmic microwave background radiation that comes from the fact that we are moving relative to the local expansion. So we have a peculiar velocity. And this was realized relatively early on, and, but it was measured you know, more accurately as we went through COBE and the, the, those telescopes. And so, so the CMB has its own rest frame, but that's that's or, that's already uh, some, somewhat difficult to get your head around because we're often told in relativity that no frames are special, right? But ne but now there is really not necessarily a special frame, but that, there is a well-defined frame. There is a well-defined frame, but you can you can have a well-defined frame with respect to that tree over there, right? Yeah. So so the CMB there is a a. Uh, a frame in the universe whereby you see the CMB as being homogeneous across the sky, right? So it's in part of the metric that if you are what's known as a co-moving observer, so you are not moving relative to expansion, you see the CMB as being uniform. But if you are not a co-moving observer, if you have velocity due to attraction due to nearby galaxies, etc., that will be imprinted on our view of the cosmic microwave background radiation. And this has been measured at around 370 kilometers per second. So that's the sun's motion through the, the cosmic microwave background radiation. What, what is the, is there any physical relevancy to that rest frame in terms of like Big Bang you know, theory? Is there some, is this the frame in which the Big Bang occurred in or something? How do we interpret that frame? It's the, it's the frame in which the coordinates are laid down in the Friedman-Robinson-Walker metric, 